most attractive projects at the moment, I think that everybody talks about is clearly it's Master City, which is well coming along and which will be developed into steps, but also then Master PV, which is the photovoltaic module manufacturing site, which uh, we are heading. And both of these projects are really stepping nicely forward as planned. Well, I'm familiar that um, that Mazda City is, is will be, you know, is using renewable energies. But uh, how much of that, do you know, is is going to be uh, PV related? So we have a number where we say about 200 megawatt is needed for the Mazda City plant or the Mazda City site, and. Uh, you have heard about the projects which are now on, based on the free field, where there are 5 megawatts from First Solar, 5 megawatts from SunTech having been ordered. And uh, that's the free field installation. And on top of that, there is the majority going onto the roofs yeah. of Master City, which make them the delta of the, uh, of the equation. I'm assuming as well that um, from a roof uh, perspective, this is also uh, BIPV. There's, is there going to be a lot of that in there, or is it? A more simple version? I think we are really uh, focusing more on a more simple version, so it's really on roof mm -hmm. installations. Nevertheless, I think as Master City will develop, I think also uh, some suppliers will develop and uh, are definitely keen then also to get into BIPV solutions and applications. So I think uh, there was really a perception in the market that when Master also created Master PV that all our products immediately see a customer, right? And that's a little bit of wrong perception even though I would like it very much. No, it is us really who have to search for our own customers. Uh, nevertheless, yes, we are in talks with Master City as a, let's say, a normal potential customer. Uh, we are competing, right? And uh, so we have to see where our products fit best. And we are here in a very normal competition to the rest of the, of the module suppliers. So uh, there is not a preset volume that Master City would take from us. Right. So it's us to fight for. So therefore, uh, I, I can assume then that your business operations are going to be like a, like a first solar. So you're going to be out there competing in the marketplace against all other in film technologies. That's correct. So we are really, we have to search for our own markets, for our own customers. Now you know that we have chosen the applied materials uh, line, the SunFab line, which means our products are really set for a clear application, right? We want to go large size, so this, the panels by themselves are really ideally set for a free field installation, open space installation, uh, for large rooftop uh, projects. Nevertheless, even there, we might see our barriers, and let's be very open and, front and, and frank, which means if you have really a, a roof which does not hold the load, right? so they might go for easy, flexible solutions and lightweight solutions, which we might not be able to fulfill in any case. So, the, um, correct me if I'm wrong, the original plans were something like third quarter 2009 to, to start ramp up, so you're still expecting uh, to be in that in that field and about three megawatts for the year. Correct. Okay. So the ramp up uh, mostly will happen in the months of July, August and September. And then for the last quarter of the year, uh, we really predict that we get our first volumes out, even though there are small ramp up module uh, volumes. But this then gets it to the three megawatt. Yes. And for boosting efficiencies, what's the plan? Then? <coughs> so. I think we have now also published on our web page and made it, uh, let's say, transparent that we are going for not only the amorphous uh, silicon single layer technology, but no, we are addressing amorphous amorphous, which is a dual layer uh, junction technology. So that's our, our first step. Uh, having chosen this technology, ASI ASI, what we call it, is really already a, a differentiation from, let's say, a big crowd. Uh, who is just focusing on amorphous silicon single junction. With this technology, we really believe that we can stretch it out quite a bit for yeah. the next, let's say, years. Uh, nevertheless, we all know that uh, the market requires higher efficiency modules, and this means that sooner or later, we also will be faced with a decision to be made for micromorph, right? But yes, I, uh, I would say rather wait a bit more for Micromorph until it's stable, until CapEx is really getting down a bit. Uh, uh, operating cost is in a more commercial, attractive way, and then we make the move. The, the reason why I ask that is that 
you know, we have seen uh, with the success, uh, and really I think setting the benchmark has yes. been First Solar, yes. not just from its ability to ramp megawatts, right. but also its conversion efficiencies are True. very high. 10.8 it's just reached. It expects to uh, do at least another 1% in the next 12 months. That's a very aggressive you know, uh, um, capability that they've proven that they've been able to do it. This pushes pressure then on all the amorphous technologies, yes. whether it's Sunfab or Olicon, to really improve those efficiencies. So, you know, is this a, uh, you know, a, a critical target to, to come to? Uh, whether we call it a critical target, but definitely we call it a target. Yeah. We call it a benchmark. Yeah. So uh, all the compliments to First Solar, I mean, they made a great job. They were early in time. They were really betting on building up capacity. Yeah. They were able to bring their cost in a, in a good mode. So that's a benchmark which we have to, to compare with. Now, if you talk about efficiency alone, I would say it is the whole mixture. It's the efficiency of a module, it is the cost, right? And it is the, let's say also, the, the application of the technology. CAT, Telluride, I think we all know there, there might be limitations in the future. Uh, at the moment, yes, there is a market. And uh, so what we have in mind is, yes, we see this benchmark, and we need to, to get close to it or beat it, whatever you call it, as fast as possible. And this means we just started. Applied materials delivered first SunFab lines. And at the moment, I think the industry around this has not really built up and positioned in a nice way. In a nice way, I mean really, are we prepared to, to uh, implement all our cost reduction programs as we have them in mind? And I think we have a good step ahead of us and there is big potential.